Okay, so to continue with assignment number 95, we're going to look at a quadratic expression. Now we're moving from just knowing how to do the X method, but to actually applying it to a quadratic expression. Remember, this is not an equation because it's not equal to anything. Uh, first thing we want to do is start off by being able to identify what is my ABC. So as you can see, if you're looking at the quadratic expression here, we can identify what is ABC. So A is equal to 1. There's no number, but we always know there's a number in front of a variable. And my B is positive 4, because it says plus. And my C is negative 32. Okay? It's always a good habit to rewrite it so we remember, especially when we go to plug them in into our X form here. So AC goes up top. The product of it happens to be 1 times negative 32, which is negative 32. And... My B goes in the bottom, which is positive 4. Yeah, I like to write myself little notes here and there just to make sure that I am multiplying to get that and I'm adding to get uh, the bottom number here. So all the factors are 32. 1 goes into 32. 2 goes into 32. 3 does not go into 32 because 3 plus 2 happens to be 5. 5 is not divisible by 3, so this, is not number, this number is not divisible by 3. 4 goes in there. 8 times, 5 can't go in here because the last number is not 5 is 0, 6 can't go in here, 7 can't go in there, 8 does, but I already have it, so I am done with all my factors. Now I'm going to do a little bit of mental math. I'm going to remind myself that when I multiply these two numbers, the product should be negative, but when I add, I want it to be positive. So when I multiply one of them to be negative, one is going to be positive. But at the same time, when I add them, I need, I need it to be positive, so the bigger number has to be positive. So all the smaller numbers have to be negative. Okay, so mental math. At this point, I'm prepared to find out which one is it that's going to give me the right combination. One plus, I mean, negative one plus 32 doesn't work for me. Negative six plus 16 doesn't work for me. But this works for me. So I have negative four plus eight that gives me positive four. So I got my two factors. <clears throat> At this point, I'm going to go into where I divide by A. In this situation, A happens to be 1, so I'm going to say divide that by 1, divide that by 1. So now I am ready to write out my answer. My denominator is the coefficient of the variable, which is x, minus 4, which is my numerator. And then here, again, my denominator is the coefficient of part of the variable x, and plus Eight. All right, so I have my answer, but me being the studio student that I am, I'm going to check to make sure that it does work. So I'm going to do a little FOIL. X times X gives me X squared, and then X times 8 gives me 8X. Negative 4 times X gives me negative 4X, and then negative 4 times 8 gives me negative 32. When I combine my common, I mean, uh, uh, like terms here, x squared plus 4x minus 32. And this happens to be the same thing that I started off with, so therefore I must have the right answer. So this is my answer. Thank you.